Reason Australia from Wikipedia The Free Encyclopedia Introduction Reason Australia, also referred to as the Reason Party or simply Reason, is an Australian political party founded in 2017. Its leader, Fiona Patton, describes the party as a civil libertarian alternative. Patton was elected to the Victorian Legislative Council as at the 2018 state election in the Northern Metropolitan Region, after formally being elected as a sex party member for the same seat in the 2014 state election. Reason is registered at the state level in Victoria and as a federal party. History In August 2017, Fiona Patton announced the launch of a new political party called Reason Australia, in part born from a merger of the Australian Sex Party and the Australian Cyclists Party. In January 2018, the Victorian Electoral Commission officially changed the party's name from Australian Sex Party, Victoria to Reason Victoria. In May 2018, the party applied to the AEC for registration for federal elections as Reason Australia, which was approved on 30 August 2018. In December 2019, the NSW branch of the Voluntary Euthanasia Party merged with the Reason Party and changed its name to Reason Party NSW. In December 2020 it was announced that Patton would enter a coalition with independent Mildura MP, Ollie Cupper who sits in the Legislative Assembly. Cupper ended the agreement on 13 May 2021. In February 2022, Jane Caro announced that she was standing as a candidate for the party for a New South Wales Australian Senate seat in the 2022 Australian federal election. She was unsuccessful. Patton was not re at the 2022 Victorian state election, leaving reason with no elected representatives. Parliamentary Actions The party's main goal should they be elected was to establish voluntary assisted dying laws for Victoria. After a long process in a marathon legislative session, the bill became law on a conscience vote. In 2017, Patton renewed calls for a pilot program of a safe injecting room in North Richmond in response to a large increase of Victorian drug-related deaths in the last several years. In the first session for the Legislative Council of the Year, she introduced the Drugs, Poisons and Controlled Substances Amendment Bill 2017. At the time there were regular overdoses in the streets of Richmond, and that number has been reduced significantly since the centre was open, with various estimates about the number of lives saved due to the opening of the centre. Policies The party's policies include drug law reform. Drug use to be treated as a health issue not a criminal one, cannabis to be legalized, regulated and taxed, trial hydromorphone on prescription, increase in medically supervised injecting centers, electronic vaporizers and liquid nicotine should be legalized, pill testing at every music festival, cannabis. In regards to cannabis the party supports the following, the legalization and regulation of cannabis for people over the age of 18, support for the legal possession and use of cannabis for people over the age of 18, amending drug driving laws to test for impairment not presence, the cultivation of a defined number of plants in their principal place of residence, regulations that allow for the establishment of cannabis social clubs, establishing a regulatory body to oversee the industry, regulation on the potency of THC and legal cannabis products, market controls to avoid the creation of a big cannabis industry, restrictions on advertising, marketing and promotion products, competitive pricing to undercut the illicit market, an appropriate tax framework to help fund cannabis-related programs, expunging all historical personal use cannabis criminal records, tax and churches, remove tax exemptions from businesses owned by religious institutions, while protecting their charitable activity, prevent religious organizations from discriminating by reforming anti-discrimination laws, religious oaths to be removed from parliamentary proceedings, extend mandatory reporting laws to religious institutions and end exemptions for admissions disclosed in religious confessions, social housing, encourage build-to-rent and rent-to-buy schemes and remove tax barriers, stamp duty to be reduced from investments in social housing, gambling, setting a maximum bet limit for poker machines and limiting the influence of the pokies industry, health, vaccination to protect public health and reduce the spread of preventable diseases, Establishment of health hubs, early intervention and evidence-based prevention are the main focus. Create an ombudsman for aged care and retirement housing, and establish a statewide aging strategy. Internet and media. Expand free Wi-Fi in public spaces including on all public transport. Anti-ISP filtering. National media classification and introduction of non-violent sexual content label. Other areas. Focusing on community housing and ensuring that at-risk people have a place to live. 
decriminalize sex work and remove censorship so that people can make their own choices about what they want to watch, improving public transport especially for high-growth outer suburban areas, increasing oversight around politicians and tighten the rules to prevent unethical behavior by the state's politicians and public figures, taxing the non-charitable business arms of religious institutions. This includes the estimated $9 billion portfolio of the Catholic Church in the state, holding a referendum on whether or not Australia should become a republic. A nationwide trial of a four-day workweek provide improved, interconnected and safer walking and cycling paths, including investment in safe, direct and continuous bike routes separated from other forms of traffic, revitalization and expansion of existing cycling trails, providing bike racks on buses, trams and trains, the right for terminally ill people to choose voluntary assisted dying repealing laws that prevent the territories from enacting voluntary assisted dying legislation, promote and support legalization of voluntary assisted dying in every state and territory of Australia, 